Yo, so before you start watching the video, get comfy, bro, because this video is going to be fire, man. And throughout this video, my mic have been bad, but it's going to be better in the next progression video. So starting off strong, going to fight some bandits. Holy shit, they're being so annoying. Let me, let me turn down this, because like, my keyboard is being weird. Like, I need a new keyboard, bro. It's been weird for like weeks now. You know d with a weak keyboard? It just ain't it, bro. You know, the drip's gonna be fire, bro. Like, we're not gonna mess this up this video. First and only progression. On this build, we're gonna go all the dead gods free shrine. And after that, we're gonna shrine of blasphemy. So we get the level up and get shrine of order. With the hair, I try to go for a hairstyle and kind of the same, like, texture. Rather. And the eyes, of course, you got gray eyes and purplish hair, dark purple. I'm gonna wait um, and do the, uh, the the book quest for challenge later on. The only talent we need to pre-shrine is really just all the dead gods. And this build might be one of the best ones I've cooked up so far. Like it's actually good. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about uh, Siphon, uh, the character I'm progressing here. So Siphon is the captain of the second division in Bleach. And she's, she's an assassin. So we're making an assassin build today. First we're gonna uh, rush 40 intelligence and then we go 65 willpower and let's beat this big guy I do no damage with fists what the hell I feel like a shrimp all right Charco's dead let's just keep going intelligence free shrine we're gonna get shadow cast on this build so, here we go perfect flash, because we're an assassin build, we're just gonna be assassinating people. Let's burn loot skipper, take hard read, because we're a hard reader boy. Big man golem here. So with these stats, we wanna go fishman for the extra 5 HP. Uh, let's just take bruiser's mix up. So guys, I realize I shouldn't have taken bruiser's mix up, it's, it's, not, that, it's not that good bro. Now let's grip them. And just keep investing into willpower. Uh, Blood Iron Spirit for the HP. Uh, here we're gonna take Neuroplasticity because we are gonna be uh, putting a lot of stuff on uh, on our mantras. Yeah, we we'll take Last Resort because we might get low on this build. We got no fortitude. Uh, old habits die hard for the extra five HP. Eureka because we're gonna be assassinating. We're gonna hit free markers. Here we can just take exhaustion strike. And if you don't get exhaustion strike, it's I. Uh, it doesn't really matter on this build. Uh, here we're gonna just uh, disbelief. Yes, there might be some annoying assassin chippers out there. Uh, conquer your fears, because we're gonna be dead skanking on this. And here we just just roll to. Now that we have 65 willpower, we can just go ahead and lock it. And now we're actually just gonna leave Trial of One. Alright, so now that we're out of Trial of One, we equipped our uh, White Traveler's Club. And we're gonna get our Cutthroat Armor as well to uh, finish up the trip real quick. Yo, call me, buddy. I'm just trying to transfer here. Oh my god. Now, but like, actually, what are these guards angry at me for? I get I'm a Void Walker now. But you don't gotta be angry like that. Alright, let me just transfer. Oh my. Alright, so now that we got the armor. Um, let's see what we are missing. Okay, so we are gonna need one crystal lens and five iron. Alright, so let me go and get that. Okay, so I should have dropped the crystal lens around up here. And guys, after we get the armor, we are gonna go and do Shrine of Blasphemy. So we can Shrine of Order. Oh, I just walked over it. Oh my god. Alright, so now let's just go ahead and do this parkour. Skip a part. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a Storm Iron Sisters. Or Sisters. Jesus. Dude, I, I can't speak right now. So, what that is gonna do is just give us a little buff when fighting players like as a Void Walker. And fighting mobs doing some extra damage with the lightning. Alright, now that we transferred the Iron Sisters. Let's go to Shrine of Blasphemy. Okay, so we might have a bit of a problem getting into the Hidden Village. But I think I'm just gonna bring another slot and then break the door, turn back, and then just go in. 
Okay, we might be able to do some bounties, boys. Yeah, so I mentioned this in Trial 1, but we're actually gonna go and get Shadow Cast right before we do Shrine of Blasphemy. Um, so let's just go and get that real quick and see if we can get Shadow Gun before we Shrine of Order. Uh, just to have a Shadow Mantra and being able to level up our Shadow Cast. So now that we're on our way to get Shadow Cast, I have a question for y'all out there. I know we just updated it, but like, what is your uh, opinion on the new Jet Strike buff? It's like, bro, a support oath should not be doing that much damage. Like, it's actually gutted. Imagine Spears with, like, the new Jet Striker, bro. It's gonna be dominating time. I swear. I'm a bit worried that I don't remember the way or the Shadow Trader. But I think I'm... But I might, I might. I might remember it. So now that we're at slot gate... We're gonna go to the Shadow Trainer and just get Shadow Cast and get the depths. Then we go left and we see the uh, the urchins here. And that indicates that we're almost the Shadow Trainer. Right, what the hell is going on outside? Alright, so now that we got Shadow Cast. Alright, all right, yeah. Now that we got Shadow Cast, we're gonna go to Shrine of Blasphemy and then Shrine of Order. And then I'm, I'm about to head to bed after that. Like, it's 1 a.m. for me, and I better get some sleep because I got school in a couple days. So when when this video is out, I probably have school again. Like I need to fix my sleeping schedule, bro. Getting a lot of content ready for y'all right now, so y'all better be ready. It's gonna take a lot of time to edit. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Like I cannot get off this wall. I might have to do the uh, main menu tech. Let me kill this really quick. So if you guys are new to the game or don't know this tech, you just jump up here, leave. Okay, nice, it worked. So now we should just be able to jump and dash. And yeah, we're up, we're up, nice. Alright, we might get a shocker or an. What the hell is this trial feeding me, bro? Bro, give me a mud skipper. Not even fighting back, bro. Fight back, bro. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back, bro. Fight back. Ah, he cooked. He's cooked. Look, yeah. Critical. Uh, dude, what is it called? Oh shit. Updraft. No, that's not updraft. What is it called? Wait, I just noticed something. Okay, I changed it up a bit so you guys can see my stats and mantras. But I didn't notice that uh, getting shadow cast only cost two Umbral Obsidian. I've always thought it was five. I, I didn't know when they changed that. Though. So now we're gonna head to Shrine of Blasphemy. I've been trying. I've been trying for like a. I've been trying for like a good ten minutes to open this door. Like I forgot what opens this door. Cause Firebase doesn't. Eclipse Cake doesn't. Like what the hell opens this door? I might just I might just start server hopping to find like an open door. This is this is not working out. I'm not gonna server hop. I'm just going to do the menu strategy. Okay, so as I'm sitting here and recording the video, I just wanted to say that well, I ended up just doing the um the climbing on the wall using the guild base. So that's how I got up there. And at the time recording the video, I didn't have this microphone, so I'm gonna be trying to use this um, from now on. Let's just do the uh, guild strategy. So now that we're at uh, Hidden Village, we can go and try not blasphemy. What is this zombie doing here? I need a health pack from you. Oh yeah, there's a shutdown in there. As I was saying, now- Oh my god, zombie. Let's just kill the zombie over really quick. I do no damage. They do baby damage. Now we can Shrine of Blasphemy. Let's just look at the stats. These are the stats you want before Shrine of Blasphemy. Zero Strength. This is because of my race. 1 Fortitude. 1 Agility. 40 Intel. 65 Willpower. Zero Charisma. And then get Shadow Cast and Light Weapon. So right here I'm just trying to say that because the Shrine only takes 2 Knowledge and we have 8 left. We can do the uh, Quest at Fort Merit for 2 extra Knowledge. So we can try and order. And because this part right here has a very bad microphone. I, uh, I've decided to just read up the cards that I picked from this microphone and why I picked them. 
So right here I decided to go for Underdog because this build is going to be a bit squishy and it only has 15 fortitude. And that's because we only really need Warrior's Respite. And all the dead guys should be pretty self-explanatory because we're an assassin so we need anti-heal. And here I just decided to pick Triad lead because if needed we can run away in water. And here I decided to just go for Scuba Drowner because it's a rare talent and it's 5 HP and free passive agility. Here I just took Lightweight because of purely passive agility. Here I picked up Replenishing Knockout if we get any quick drops in ganks um, or boss raids. And here I went Padded Armor which was a mistake because I have Steadfast. So here I decided to go and check in the Builder because I didn't know if we needed any of these mantras. And it turns out we don't. So we just ended up taking Dark Blade because of the EXP gain. Here I just took Clutching Shadow because we are gonna need to reroll. Um, some matches later on, but we don't need it on the build. And here I just took two vitality because we're going six vitality. All right, that's actually it, guys. Now we can go and do the quest at Fort Merritt and go shrine of order. Oh wait, so on our way to um, Fort Merritt, I saw this event. So at the time I was recording this, uh, I didn't know what this was, so I decided to just go and explore it. I don't know if these NPCs are like a part of the island, but I'm just gonna kill them for some EXP. So because the server was so laggy, uh, I ended up getting packed, but you know I had to get my get back. Let's actually go back here. Alright guys, so I spawned somewhere, but this is not where my ship was. Who used my ship? Okay, so now that we actually killed all of the NPCs, let's see if there drops a chest. Oh, it does. Oh, the, the loot is pretty bad, but like, uh, this... Oh, wait, there are multiple chests. Two chests. Wait, oh, we might have to wait for the island to sink to get that one. I mean, the event is cool, but the loot is like, it's not worth it. Maybe if you're max level and you just need some notes, it's pretty free. But I mean, if you're like a freshie almost... It's not worth it bro, just keep going. Okay, let's see if this drops two chests as well, or if it's like one big or better chest. Okay, so the last, we just grabbed the last one and it dropped two chests, but yeah, these chests are definitely better, they have more loot. Let's see this one? That's a two star bump. I have Storm on mine, so I think I'm gonna keep that for now. And on this build, we're gonna use Drake more Gauntlets, and we're gonna be Jet Striker. Okay, so let's just accept quest here and go and kill off the um and yes for some reason i am having a stroke here trying to say guards we're back and satisfied okay, two knowledge we can go shrine of order now all right guys so now if you're progging the build with me your stats should look something like this and you can check like these are the stats we go pre-shrine I'm Ganner. Uh, but these are the stats we're gonna go pre sure. So now we're gonna go 1542. And that we're just gonna do that for um, Warrior's Respite. Because uh, we really need that on this build. Okay, so because we just Shrine of Blasphemy before we Shrine of Order, we have a lot of spare points. And that means we can go uh, ahead and put a lot of points into agility before we actually get our mantra hand. But we have to assassinate 10 people for the assassination talents. So we're gonna have to go and do that, but first I think we're gonna invest. So what I was aiming for here was to get the 10 assassinations off camera and meanwhile invest 50 points into Shadowcast for the mantras and after Shadowcast I was gonna go 85 agility for most of the agility talents that we need on this build. So here we're going to freeze fast bleed because it's just a sexy card to have and we're gonna take Warrior's Respite because that's why we went 1542 on this build. Here I just took risky moves because we are going to go butterfly on this build. Here I decided to pick low stride, uh, of course because we need the assassination challenge. And I froze switch rebound instead because we really need butterfly. And 
here we're gonna just reach fast bait and take switch rebound. For the mantras, I do need. Let me see what I need. All right, so we actually do not need any of these mantras, but for now, I would just go ahead and take Shadow Eruption, just for the combos and PVP for uh, for EXP later on. <laughs> 